How do we read this number to say the total? Let's read it together. Two hundreds, seven tens, and three ones. If I close this part of the expander, it's still two hundreds, seven tens, and three ones. So let's put that on our chart up here. So I have seven tens, four, five, six, seven. And then I have two hundreds. Well, we know this is one hundred. We talked about that yesterday. So there's one hundred. Two hundreds. So now I have my two hundreds, my seven tens, and then it says I need three ones. So let's go back up to the top and grab three of these little ones blocks. One, two, three. Okay. So now I have my two hundreds, my seven tens, and my three ones. If we were to count those, then we could say one hundred. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3. So 200, 70, 3. So on this expander down here, it looks like all I'm doing is writing the number that's in that place when we, write, when we do our blocks. So I have 200s right here. Well, I put two hundreds blocks right here. I have seven tens right here, so I put seven tens blocks here. And then I have three ones here, so I put three ones blocks here. So this is a place value chart. We call this kind, this specific kind, an expander. Okay. So I can put it all together, and I can say two hundred seventy three, two hundred seventy. Three. So all I'm doing on this expander is I'm just breaking it apart so that it is easier to read which number goes into which place. Okay. So I have two hundreds. So two in the hundreds place, seven tens. That's seven in the tens place, and three ones, which is three in the ones place. If you look up here at the top, you'll also see that it says hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have two hundreds, seven tens, and three ones. So let's say that number again. Two hundred seventy-three. Two hundred seventy-three.